All right, so first we have our um, our left atrium to be up here, and then our right atrium. Then right below it, we have our ventricles. So our right ventricle, our left ventricle. Then we have our left auricle. We don't have the right one here, but it would be somewhere up here. You can see it on the sheep brain. Then we have our apex. And we have our ligamentum arterosum. Right there. Then we have our aorta. Then we have our brachiocephalic. We have our pulmonary trunk. Then we have our superior vena cava. It dumps into the right um, atrium. And then on the back side, we have our inferior vena cava. And then while we're back here, we have our coronary sinus. <coughs> then we go back to the front. And then this, so we have our aorta, aorta and branching off of it right here. And there's some more branching off over here. So those are our um, coronary, coronary arteries. Then if you open up the atrium here, inside where the blue dot is, that would be our fossa ovalis. Okay. Then we have our semilunar valves. So on the left side, we have our aortic valve. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now on the right side we have our pulmonary valve and next we have our atrial ventricular valves. On the right side we have our tricupsid valve and then on the left side we have our bicupsid valve and then off of the valves we have these string, strings which is the chordae tendinae and it'll be on this side too, the strings, but this one's kind of messed up. So our coordinate tendine is connected to the papillary muscle. So where it connects would be the papillary muscle. And then all the groove down here, these groove muscles, would be the trabeculae carnae. So all the groove areas down here in our ventricles. And then separating the ventricles, we have our interventricular septum. Then the outside is our epicardium, our um, myocardium. And then the inside layer would be the endocardium.